This homemade tandoori chicken is loaded with an authentic smoky flavor. Hi, and you're watching Plating It With Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with these. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, share, and comment. And if you enjoy trying out recipes that turn out right every time, then go ahead, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you hit the bell icon, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. We're gonna go in with four chicken legs and I've cleaned them, washed them and packed dry them. I've kept a little fat on them for flavor. For the flavors to go in, we're gonna take the chicken leg and give them a few light cuts. And it's also gonna help the chicken to cook faster and evenly. Just going to give some cuts on the side too. We're going to marinate the chicken with 3 foot cup of thick yogurt and that's about 210 grams. The yogurt is going to help to flavor the chicken and tenderize it. And to that we're going to add 1 tablespoon of garlic paste and half a tablespoon of ginger paste. For a hint of time we're going to go in with 1 tablespoon of lemon juice. So we're going to go in with 2 tablespoons of Kashmiri chili powder and we're using the Kashmiri chili powder because it has that lovely red color but it's not spicy. And to that we're going to add one teaspoon of turmeric powder. And to bring all our marinade together and to keep our chicken nice and succulent, we're going to add three tablespoons of vegetable oil. And to bring out all the flavors, we're going to add some salt. And you can add salt to taste. I'm going to go in with approximately about a teaspoon and a half. It's time to get the gloves on. We're going to mix it together so that all the marinade comes together. And we're going to make sure that it goes into all the cuts that we have given the chicken. We're gonna cover it now with a plastic wrap and allow it to marinate for at least two hours or overnight for best results. To cook the tandoori chicken, we're gonna heat the skillet on medium low and to that we're gonna add one tablespoon of oil and just a small knob of butter. This is gonna to add to the flavor. I'm going to swirl it around so that the entire pan gets coated with the butter and the oil. And now we're going to place two of the chicken legs into the pan. You don't want to overcrowd the pan because then the chicken will start releasing the juices. We're going to allow the chicken to cook without touching it for about two minutes till we get some color on one side. Wow, we've got some good color going there. And let's flip it on the other side. We're going to keep flipping them from side to side till they get completely cooked. It's time for us to flip it one more time. Wow. See that gorgeous color that we're getting? And that lovely tandoor look. The chicken is really looking good and it's all cooked. So now let's take it out of the pan and transfer it to a bowl. We're now going to fry up the other two pieces. To give the chicken that lovely tandoori flavor, you could either go in by burning a coal and putting it into the chicken to get that smoky tandoor flavor, or you could use a smoker like I'm doing today. So we're just going to put this part of the machine into the bowl and we're going to light up the wood chip. Cover it up just for a little while so that the chicken absorbs that smoke flavor. If you're interested in getting a smoke machine like this, I'll leave the link in the description box below. We're just going to take off the plastic wrap. Wow, isn't that amazing? Oh my goodness, look at that. And now it's time to give the tandoori chicken a taste. And this is my favorite time. Wow. Just gonna take some of that lime and squeeze it on top of the chicken. I'm gonna take some of that naan. Oh, the chicken.
just came off the bone. I'm going to also take some of that salad that we made. And if you want to know the recipe for the salad, let me know in the comments below. Mmm! Wow, this chicken is amazing. And you get that lovely smoky tandoori flavor because we added that smoke in. I'm telling you, you've got to give this recipe a try because you're definitely going to enjoy it. So hop onto my website, platingitwithwendy.com where you will find the full written recipe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.